Okay, so we've got Roman pottery contains traces of metal. The metals represent, sorry, present in Roman pottery can be identified using atomic emission spectroscopy. Analysis of a sample from Roman pot produced a series of spectral lines. Data shows the results for three of them, and we've got a gap, so you're obviously going to have to identify that. The metals, the wavelength, and the relative intensity. Name the metal that produced the orange yellow spectral line at 589 nanometers. Well, I just went and pulled the flame colours from the data book. We're looking for 589. I think a bit of a gift of a question. Okay. The fourth line observed in the spectrum obtained from the Roman pot sample was caused by a transition with an energy value of 282 kilojoules per mole. Calculate the wavelength in nanometers. Okay, so we're going to use your E equals LHC over lambda. And then you're going to have to be really, really careful. Okay, because this has been given in kilojoules. This is in joules, joule second. Um, and this will come out because that's in meters. This will come out as meters. Okay. So you do run the calculation, that's fine. So do your rearrangement. So lambda is LHC over E, okay? I'm gonna shift my E into joules for this to work properly. So 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, times your 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34, times three to the eight. Okay, all of those constants, so should just be a bit of a, just lift and 282 but I'm going to shift it to joules rather than kilojoules okay if I calculate that out which I have scribbled down here one two three four five six uh, we get this okay and that is in meters so I need this in nanometers and if you're not sure go to your data book again and you will have on the back page it tells you that nano is 10 to the minus 9. So for me to shift the meters into nanometers, I'm going to times that by 10 to the 9, which is going to give me uh, 424.6, um, or what they're expecting is for you to take it to that, 425 nanometers. Okay, moving on. The Roman pot sample was found to have titanium content of 435 mg per kilogram. A different pot sample had a spectral line at 498 with a relative intensity of 75. Calculate the titanium content. Right, so we've got titanium at 498. The relative intensity here is 375. Okay, so a relative intensity of 375 gave me 435 mg per kilogram. Okay, so all I'm going to do is do a very simple um, proportion. Okay, so this divided by this, then times by that. That's a so that's 0 0.2 times by 435 gives me 87 megs per kilogram. That's it. Okay, the Romans may have inadvertently made aluminium metal while producing pottery. Aluminium has the following electronic configuration. The electron electronic configuration is consistent with Aufbau. State the Aufbau principle. So Aufbau is your building up principle. So that means the electrons fill fill shells in increasing energy. That's basically it. Lots of ways you could write this. Check the mark scheme if you're not sure about which bits fit where. Okay. For the 3p electron in aluminium, complete the table to show one of the possible sets of values. Okay, so our four principal quantum numbers. So it's in the third level, so that's got to be three. Okay, it's in p, so that means that must be one. Okay, because our s is zero, uh, p is one. Um, and we're looking for m, so that's our magnetic orientation. So this is our, our, our organ which we were going. So in the p orbitals, we've got our three potential orientations. It's me attempting to do an x, a y, and a z. Okay, y and a z. Uh, so when we're writing this down in this one, we're either going to write a plus one, a zero, or a minus one. I'm sorry about my phone. I should have switched that off. And lastly, we're looking for spin. So spin is your up or down, which we give as plus one or minus, sorry, plus a half or minus a half. So you're going to choose any one of these to write in. So the three, you've not got an option. The one, you've not got an option. But then you could go plus one, plus a half, or you could have gone three, three, one, zero, 
plus a half, you know, any one of these combinations would get the mark. Okay, that's that one.